Hello everyone, it's Dove here. So I am back out in the sub overland and I am working on mosquito protection today and I'm going to do probably screen cutouts for the the front windows here. But back here, if I want to have the tailgate open and I want to be standing out there I was thinking I would have to make like a screen enclosure because you can buy really long screen and I actually have it because of my garden and I was thinking about rigging it up and attaching magnets all the way around well it would be that part you know when the tailgates up and then you know just having magnets going down the sides and stuff but I remembered that I had this handy little mosquito net that I bought many years ago because I live out in the garage and it attaches to the ceiling and there's a ring right there and there's an opening there's just one long opening uh, and it's in a, it's in a cone shape like that and I would put it around my my little bed out there in the garage because sometimes the mosquitoes were just super bad um, and so I thought maybe I could just use that back there I could put the ring right up top you know basically on the outside it would go like maybe right there and then I can open I could probably you know like magnet it magnetize it I've got magnets so I can stick magnets up there to hold it and then I can open it and have the material wrap around the sides and I can use magnets to secure it to the frame I've got these um, really long ones that I bought. Come here camera and focus. Focus. There's 50 of those. I've been using them just for my clam, but I can get more of these. I don't want to uh, stick these directly to the the truck though because they are super strong magnets and that would, prob that would probably not be a good idea. So what I'm going to do if this works, if it's even big enough to do this, is I'm going to wrap magnets with this black uh, Gorilla tape and make a little handle on them and that'll protect my paint job and also give me a, a pull point because these are super strong magnets and it's hard to to get them <laughs> it's hard to get them apart and it's hard to get them off metal and so I need to wrap them or something to make it easier for me and to protect my my paint job not that it's a super great paint job or anything but you know all right, so I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna try this. And I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be able to film because my neighbors right next door, they're right outside, like they're eight feet away from me. <laughs> Five or six kids and, and all that. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it, but I will show you the result at the end at the very least. Okay, hold on. Okay, that was a really bad job, and I don't know if I like this or not, but I think it will work for now. I put the magnet in the middle of the of the strip. They're really strong. Now I can't get them apart. I did two. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I can't do. I can't get them apart with one hand. Oh. Can you see what I did though? I just wrapped it in the tape and made a little handle and so that's what I'm going to use to attach that to the tailgate and I just did two of them because I'm not going to mess with this if it's not going to work so if it's wide enough to go from one side to the other and wrap all the way around then I'll come in here and make a bunch more of these and try to perfect it or something I'm, I'm not real happy with that but it is it is serviceable so Let's see how it goes. I'm going to put you on time lapse again. And uh, I've got my, uh, my clamp out here that holds my phone. That's how I do did that last time lapse. And so I'm going to clamp it actually probably to the wood here. Or maybe I'll just leave it there and tilt it up. Alright, hold on.
All right, guys. Well, I don't know if you saw that or not, but this tailgate is not metal, apparently, because these magnets are not sticking to it. Look at that. Look at that. It's not magnetic. It's not metal. That's got to be fiberglass, I guess. It feels heavy enough to be metal. It sounds like metal. But nothing. I'm getting nothing. Not up here. Nothing. There. Okay. Well, at any rate, this hoop is bigger than I thought it was, than I remember it being. And it practically covers the whole door. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I'm going to have to find a different way to affix it to the tailgate because I can't, I can't attach it with magnets. But then if I, if it's wide enough and I can get it over here, then I guess I'll be all right. Oh, see, that's what I don't want to do. That's why I wrapped it. And I thought maybe at first it was because I put this gorilla tape on it that it wouldn't stick but no it's just this tailgate it's not metal that is really really disappointing because I was kind of counting on that <laughs> to be magnetic uh, all right well let me see if I can find a different way to get this up there I'll do that time-lapse thing again hold on Okay, well, this is the best I can do. This may or may not work. <laughs> I just have it basically thrown up there, and the only thing holding it is the two magnets on the side. You can see where it's crisscrossing there. And it's just barely big enough. I'm afraid it might not be long enough. And the, the shape is weird, like... You can see it down here. I've got a gap here and then too much here. So at any rate, it's not gonna be quite long enough. So if I'm in an area where the mosquitoes are really bad, they'll get in at the bottom. So it was a nice idea, but I'm not sure it's gonna work because it might not be big enough. I think they do make bigger ones. I'm gonna look into it because this is old and stained from smoke and everything anyway so I'll look into it but here you can see I mean I'll have to go underneath it to get in and out but these are sticking just fine to it and that's the only thing holding it if it was just a little bit longer it would be better I mean, it doesn't give me a lot of space because I guess my tailgate isn't as uh, as long as I imagined that it was. But it does give me a little bit of space to where I could, if I'm doing cooking out back here, because this will be basically where my outdoor kitchen is and it'll be sliding out. I'm just afraid there's not going to be in enough room right here. And this is pouchy. This is poochy. So I think what I need is something up here to put on on the tailgate that will go straight out and basically lift this up and out. And then that'll give me more space down here. Maybe. So then it, it would open it up a little bit more. It have to be something soft but rigid so that it doesn't uh, stab into the, the netting. I think I could find something maybe. I don't know. It's easier than uh, doing the homemade screen stuff because now, especially now, because this is not magnetic frame and that's what I was counting on. I was just going to magnet screen all the way across and all the way across here and then down the side and just basically make my own box-like screen enclosure 
but that's not gonna work. And so this is gonna have to do. Like I said, maybe I can just get a bigger net and that would solve that. Or maybe the mosquitoes aren't smart enough to go up under that. That's like six inches though. I think they could figure that out and get under there. They're pretty crafty. Plus, you know, they'll come from under here too. But I guess I'm less worried about that maybe. Or maybe I should be worried about it. Maybe I should try to figure out how I could put a screen up like right there. I don't know if any of this is magnetic. Let me check. I doubt it. Okay, well the bumper is. So I could probably, ooh, sorry about that. I could probably take a piece of screen and ma magnet it up here. Because it slopes in right there. But if I can at least pull it taut and just have it from here over to there, that would hold it tight. I'd go all the way to the end. And then I could just have it hanging to the ground and maybe sew in some weights to the bottom so it wouldn't flap around in the wind. I was thinking I might have to sew weights into this too. It's awfully th uh, flimsy though, but I might have to if it's gonna be like on a really windy day. I'll probably wanna have weights in there to keep it from getting too unruly. I mean, I have my clam and the, the main idea is to be somewhere where I can stay for a week or two and I can just put my clam up and not have to deal with this, but I know that I'm there's going to be times when I'm not going to have either the space to deploy the clam or um, I'm just not going to be in a place very long, but I still might want to be out cooking, you know, right here. Even if it's just an overnighter, because I've already been in a situation or two or three <laughs> where I wish I would have had something like this because I just couldn't be outside because of the mosquitoes. All right, well, that was my experiment. I guess I'm just gonna leave it like this and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll figure out something else. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.